Hi, I'm Jerry Basinger with JBI Enterprises. Uh, we're near Bruning, Nebraska, and uh, wanted to explain a little bit about some of the challenges we're experiencing here right before planting season and our strip tilling operation on our farm. Um, the weather has kind of turned somewhat unfavorable for strip tilling with all the rain we're getting here uh, the uh, latter part of, of April here. And uh, so we're going to make some adjustments with our strip tilling to accommodate, I guess, the uh, adverse weather that we're experiencing. One of the things we're looking at uh, with strip till now, when we get back into the field, is actually offsetting our strips somewhat with each pass. And uh, we strip till 12 rows and plant 24. Normally, we're, we use our RTK to, to have 30 inch centers, sub inch uh, spacing, uh, or sub inch accuracy. And uh, we're going to kind of uh, change that a little bit where we leave some of it a wider gap on each pass. And what that will allow us to do is when we come in and plant with 24 rows, we will be planting off to the side of the ridge uh, or side of the strip a couple of inches. We're afraid right now with the way the soil conditions are and as wet as it is that our strips aren't going to be ideal uh, down deep. We're going to have a nice strip or a nice berm up on top to plant into, but uh, with the wet soil conditions, we're afraid that our, our knife, in our case, might leave uh, a, an open void in the soil. So we're going to plant our seed off to the side of the strip, about two inches off dead center, and uh, we'll be dropping our seed in firm soil. It'll be good moisture. and we'll get good, uh, good germination, good uh, stand establishment, and still see the benefit of our strip because of the residue being uh, swept clean of that strip and uh, the soil being drier and, and, and warmer. Um, and uh, we'll be uh, safe with our seed in, in, in that placement. Um, one of the things that we will be doing uh, with our, our planter setup is uh, we're adding air adjust row cleaners uh, on our planters and uh, that will allow us to uh, compensate for some variation in our strips since we are going to be off to the side a little bit. It's going to, it's going to take a, a, a different row cleaner setup to be able to manage that, that difference uh, being on the side. There might be some cases where we have some residue um, that we have to clean out a little bit better or we might have a little bit difference uh, in, our, in our soil elevation there from our berm. Um, one of the things though with our strip tilling here when we get back in the field we are going to adjust our ceiling discs so we're not throwing up uh, as much of a berm as we normally do in the fall or winter when we strip till. Uh, so we're going to make a few few adjustments here going into uh, uh, next week with the better weather. Um, going to be a different year where we're going to be strip tilling and, and planting probably at the same time. So.